irregular periods can i get pregnant with irregular periods and symptoms that may suggest you're having irregular periods because most women are having irregular periods but they are not even aware okay and most people are bleeding but not having their menses and if you don't have your menses you will not ovulate bleeding doesn't mean that you are having your menses these are the things we're going to be discussing in this video so it's obviously going to be a long one okay so um a quick one can i get pregnant without having with irregular period the thing the answer is no and partly yes okay so i will explain yes in the sense that it depends on the cause of your irregular period no in the sense that it also depends on the cause now these are the causes of irregular period okay after telling you the causes i'll let you know how you know that you're having an irregular period because it's not just seeing your period when you're supposed to see it doesn't mean that you're having an irregular period okay so um number one is some pills can make you you know delay your period some hormonal pills like the one we already know postinol 2 and um, post pills and emergency contraceptive even the one they give you for three months okay to correct your um circle for women that you know to help you to get pregnant that three months pill it can make you have an irregular period of which it can normalize so you see that is where the yes answer comes in now if it is a, a normal contraceptive pill that you go and take no okay it will scatter your period and even delay you in getting pregnant in the future so if you're taking these contraceptive pills emergency contraceptive pills like post pill and all of those things you really need to stop okay or re reduce this to like maybe once in a uh, month if you can if you must there are other ways to you know um prevent pregnancy natural ways to prevent pregnancy okay we have explained i think i have a video on that on my youtube page the second thing that may make you have an irregular period is hormonal imbalance the next one is polycystic ovarian syndrome okay so these are basically things i have the next one is um infection okay for women infection for instance um gonorrhea um, pelvic inflammatory diseases if you're asking me this question please you need to watch the video of how to treat infection on my youtube page and how to treat pid especially it has a different video of it okay so these are basically things and some illnesses probably you are diabetic kidney um, kidney failure and cancer hiv okay so those um you know chronic illnesses can make you have an irregular period okay so having said about this we so yeah um also be aware that if these things hormonal imbalance polycystic ovarian syndrome and all of those things are the cause of your irregular period you you may find it difficult to get pregnant please listen attentively so however most people like i said are not aware that their periods are irregular okay so these are the ways to know that your period is irregular number one if your period usually lasts four days and then it stops from four days to seven days and more you are having an irregular period okay the next thing is if your period um you know normally the normal period days is supposed to be um three days to seven days anything apart from seven days you probably you are probably not having a menses okay you're having an irregular period the next one is if your circle is um maybe your cycle, normal cycle is 21 days or 28 days and then is you know from 21 days it now enters to 38 days you are having an irregular period that thing is not a period if your how do you know your circle that will be a very long explanation okay just a quick one i have all these videos on my youtube page if you're a lady and you're not on that my youtube page i wonder how you will learn a lot of things because tiktok is basically for a short video okay um how to know your circle the last day that you saw your period okay after you finish your period okay you start counting to the next circle that is your 
um, has to know your cycle. So it's some people have 21 days, 22, 22, 35 days. The normal one is usually 28 days, but however, you can have 21 to 35 days. There's no problem. Anything more than 35 days is abnormal. Okay, same thing as your bleeding. If you don't really understand this thing I said about your um, counting your circle, I have a full video about that and your ovulation on my YouTube page. So you can just locate the video there. So, so if your mess, um, your um, menstrual circle, you know, that is usually um, twenty five days or twenty eight days now lasts to thirty seven days, you are having an irregular period. Okay, your period, you missed your period for two, three, four, five, six months. You're having an irregular menses. Okay, please be aware that if you miss your period for three months, for two months. Please, it's already a cause of an alarm and you're not pregnant. You have to see a gynecologist. You have to see a gynecologist. This is very important. Do not keep quiet. When you miss your period for that long, it is not a good thing. It is not, don't stop looking for remedies online. Go and meet a doctor. Something is happening. Something is causing this. So it aches me when I see women, you know, saying I've missed my period for one year. So missing your period for one year, three months, that is not... That is not a good thing. I don't want to make this video long. I would have explained to you the processes that goes on. So missing your... Okay, you can also just watch the video of why your period may be late too on my YouTube page and what to do. So see a doctor. These are the signs that you're having um, an irregular menses, okay? And please remember that when you have an irregular menses, you may not really ovulate. It now depends on the course, okay? You may not really ovulate when you have an irregular menses. So, treatment of irregular menses, number one. It now depends on what is causing your irregular menses. Like I said initially, um, I, I forgot to mention, one of the causes also can be stress, can be extreme weight gain, can be extreme weight loss, okay? Your hormones will now be scattered and trying to, you know, um, find itself arrange itself okay so if it is um stress you have to you know try to rest as often as you can eat good food eat healthy food reduce um sugary things reduce sugary things as much as you can okay this will really really help you balance your hormone eat good food eat fruits and vegetables okay and then if it is um post peel like i said normal post peel will alter your period it will make your period irregular you see it today you see it you know it will just be irregular you have to stop okay then go for scan find out what is going on if there's anything going on in your womb go for medical check let the doctor check you go for hormonal profile check your hormones let's see now in the in the case of treating hormonal imbalance you have to find out which hormones are imbalanced this will help you in managing what is going on and the doctor will give you drug that will balance your hormones okay also your diet will really help you a lot so most people if it is infection the infection will be treated whatever the case may be it all boils down to going to see a gynecologist please let's stop seeing going to the doctor to the hospital and you don't say anything you're just there okay say that you want to see a gynecologist and if they don't have any go and find another hospital that will provide you with a gynecologist i hope this video is clear enough let me know if you have any questions okay